Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you guys can tell, I am extremely excited because very soon I will be able to log in into a Deadman Mode world after almost one year long break. The return of Deadman Mode is here and it's a spicy one. We do have raids unlocked, TOB unlocked, a lot of content to do. And on top of that, it is going to be a one month long tournament. So you guys can expect pretty much daily videos for at least two weeks, I'd say, maybe one or two weeks. After that, we'll We'll see exactly what we're gonna end up doing but I'm looking at doing everything I'm looking to try and max as fast as possible do a bunch of raids PK honestly all sorts of deadman mode things as you guys know last deadman mode I ended up being fifth so maybe this deadman mode we can end it up you know being even better you never really know but either way I do hope you guys are as excited as I am and I guess let's just jump straight into deadman mode deadman mode worlds are available we are going in okay the strategy this time around is very simple first we want to make female perfect okay we oh my god look ugly anyways we talk to skippy and we are going straight into lumbridge let's not misclick that so this time around deadman mode is a little bit different we have 30 minutes of time to pretty much train up any, like anything we want so best start is to talk to the combat training instructors instructors ask for a starter pack and then go straight to training we need to set up our f keys real quick and we go straight into killing cows if i can just get okay shift click drop perfect okay so this is a start we're gonna be burning every single bone we're gonna be killing a bunch of cows we're gonna do this for 30 minutes and then see what stats do we get all right this is take three um i'm really shit at making videos apparently nowadays but anyways let's talk a little bit about a strategy for the next let's say maybe two hours or three hours of deadman mode so firstly we do want to get 43 prayer secondly we, we want to get 51 strength because that is the next max hit and then after that we want to work on 60 attack for the dragon scimitar at that point we are then gonna round out 65 strength and 65 attack um, and at that point we will then go for defenders so that's pretty much the plan for today after defenders I don't quite know most likely slayer at the start but we're gonna see how everything goes hopefully no um, no problems and uh, yeah the cows are starting to get slightly populated unfortunate series of events there is way too many people killing the cows even with this bonus uh, bonus money I mean bonus time I don't think it's worth the time Literally everyone is doing cows, so we're gonna try and risk, I don't know, like five minutes of our time and go to the crabs. Alright, so I do think the crab idea was pretty good. We are 40 attack, 40 strength right now, working on 51 strength, then 60 attack, then 65 strength, then 65 attack. The timer is about to run out. In the first 30 minutes of the tournament, we are almost 50 strength, 40 attack. I ended up casting my magic spell every time I'm moving between crabs. So for example, this crab is about to die. By the time I reach this one, I'm gonna cast like a spell on that crab. Just so. And so I pretty much gain my magic experience zero time. So now I can teleport to Varrock, almost teleport to Falador as well when I have the runes. That's gonna be pretty helpful, and I also trained 18 defense levels with just those defensive casts, so pretty helpful, I'd say. Anyways, however, now the experience per hour decreases by half, so we're getting everything 50% slower, uh, but I think it's gonna be just as fine. Now that 51 strength is accomplished, that means an extra max hit with the current gear that I'm using, so therefore we're now gonna train attack to 60, so then we can equip a Dragon Scimitar. Now the way we will achieve Dragon Scimitar is by doing Agility Pyramid on an alternate account, so that's gonna be extremely helpful, as Agility Pyramid is pretty fast money, and if we don't get enough money from Agility Pyramid, another option is to kill 100 combat monsters, an example would be a Blue Dragon, and you can do that with a Starter Staff, get bones from it, and a small chance of a tier 5 emblem now if you do end up getting it that means five dragon scimitars and i am in a group of people so whoever gets a tier 5 emblem will be sharing the scimitars with others so hopefully we get a little bit lucky there and uh, if not no problem whatsoever agility pyramid should make enough money to just buy a dragon scimitar straight up by the time we are 60 attack and this is going to be my alternate account that I'll be playing on. So this time I decided to have Mika DMM, which is which usually, usually is my main, which is also the CC name, as my alt account. Because else I just always get sniped on it. And uh, this account I can always double name change whenever I feel like it. So that's going to be the plan. And there it is. 60 attack has been accomplished. Unfortunately, we do not have enough money for uh, Dragon Scimitar just yet. So I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer while I'm doing Agility Pyramid on my alt account. 
All right, here's the gear upgrade. Still no weapon upgrade, unfortunately. However, we can buy items as well. This time around in this tournament, we can buy all the way to Barrow's Gloves. However, they are really expensive. So we're gonna buy one pair of Rune Gloves for now. And we're gonna use the 17 bones to get our prayer to 43. All right, finally, after so many struggles, um, here we should have... Well, I don't know if I'll reach 43. I probably won't. Yeah, I'm 40 prayer, which is okay. I can protect from range. That's what I wanted. And uh, I have more bones in the bank, but I just didn't take enough buckets to the bottom area. Anyways, I fucked up a little bit. It's totally fine. We're just gonna go ahead and train on frogs right now for 65-65. I will manually bury the remaining of my dragon bones. And then I'll just bury normal bones. It should get me all the way to 43, no problem. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we look like a champion. 2 hours and 23 minutes into the tournament and we got ourselves a Dragon Scimitar. Finally, usually I get it a bit sooner. However, this time we bought it for 140k on the Grand Exchange. So there's that. And now we pre pretty much focus on 65 strength, 65 attack and then we can go to the guild. The very first supply drop, Super Restore and Super Anti-Poison, two of each, that's actually extremely helpful. So the next bone uh, will do it, 43 prayer is now available on the account, which is amazing. We're gonna flick this probably a lot until we have more money so we can just AFK slay with monk robes on and protect from melee up. For now we can simply just flick like this. And this is how we're gonna get our Dragon Defender, however we still need to get 5 attack levels, 5 strength levels, quite a little bit of time to go. I'm not gonna waste my time burying bones anymore though, so at least we have that going for us. There is 65 attack and 65 strength finally accomplished, that means we can now go ahead and go into the Warrior's Guild. First on we need to get a bit better gear and we are also gonna go for Barrow's Gloves. And at that point, we're pretty much gaming, so I'm really excited for the future. Right now, the XP per hour is gonna increase by a lot. I'm really looking forward to it. And we can get ourselves... There you go. Barrow's Gloves already. Three hours in the tournament, and we have ourselves the Barrow's Gloves. That is amazing. Okay, we are entering the guild, we will be training defense to 60 now, and the guild is empty. That is what we like to see, we must be one of the first people here. Let's get grinding for those defenders. Look at this! There is no one here! This is like the best thing ever! I like to kill these two, they're the lowest combat. So I need to somehow trap this feller. Ah, oh, fuck, you know, I'll just kill him, it's fine. Okay, let's see how much we can get from first 20 minutes. So as a little bit of a test, I'm only gonna be training defense with special attacks from Dragon Dagger at the start, just to see how much we got. We already got one level. So let's see where we end up when we do these defenders. So I have been in here for 20 minutes now and uh, still not a single person here so we're pretty pretty good I'd say. However it is so unbelievably laggy that I cannot flick so I'm just going through these prayer potions so fast. But still um, 4 to 1 ratio seems to work for me so 4 prayer potions and 1 super set potion. Oh there it is. 52 KC and we got ourselves a first bronze defender, uh, but yeah, first one pretty much right on the drop rate. The stat update, 69 strength and 45 defense and we also got one prayer level. Oh my god, almost back to back, holy fuck, yes, two kills later, ladies and gentlemen, and we got an iron defender. Hey, 70 strength, that's actually a big level. This one took a while, still defender, uh, stat update coming through real quick, 73 strength, we also got 48 defense all from specking, and we got to 45 prayer. Oh yes, oh wait, I forgot about the black one, but there it is. So once again we went on that big dry streak, and pretty much just got a almost back to back, not quite, so we have currently killed 118 of them. Nice, yes, finally. Okay, we needed quite a while to get this one, but we got it, which is what matters. So now just adamant and rune to go. Um, when I get to Addy, I will start training defense, just so I reach that 60 defense in time. However, the next max hit becomes on 79 strength, so I'm not quite sure how I'll go about that. But anyways, the stat update on the screen, looking pretty good. Let's hopefully get lucky with the Addy defender. It is a one month thing, so... Oh, there you go, see? Every time we complain a bit, we get it. But there it is, adamant defender, finally. Oh, yeah, I felt, I felt it. I had the feeling that I don't need to get 200 tokens, and there it is, Rune Defender. I think we can maybe get a Dragon Defender from this 13 minutes, let's see. So in total, it took me exactly 225 Cyclopses to get myself all the way up to Rune Defender, so 
I think we got lucky, I believe, 25 plus for us. Either way, uh, I'm gonna now reset the loot tracker right here on the side, as you can see. We're now gonna reset it, and we will see how many we need, um, you know, to get the dragon one. So, we have missed two, though, so we're just gonna add two to the, to the end. Ooh, 70 HP, 57 defense, anything else? There it is, 60 defense, very nice, and now we can focus on purely strength training. And we are going to be training strength until the point where we can either have a Statue's Warhammer or a Vesta's Longsword. At that point, we will then train a 78 attack. If you're doing two for one deals, give me a free sub next month, in it. Whoa! Eee! Very happy, look at it! It's beautiful! There it is, and right at the 85 combat as well. We ended up getting a Dragon Defender, and we can pretty much go straight away and start grinding Slayer now. These are the stats, it took us exactly 31 kills, so a little bit over the drop rate, the drop rate is 1 in 25 in Deadman mode. And yeah, the, 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 we've already done a big part of the plan today, so that's really sick, let's see how far we can get with Slayer. Alright, here we go, probably my favorite part in every Deadman mode tournament is starting to train Slayer, because you can compete with people on the on the high scores, and it's always really nice to be one of the first people to, let's say, reach whips or tridents or stuff like that. So once again, this tournament, that is what I'm going for. I do want to have pretty high Slayer, be one of the best, and yeah, just see how it goes. Uh, I didn't quite see what I ended up getting there. Steel Dragons. The classic, the classic first ask Steel Dragons. You know what? It's fine. We're just going to go and skip it with the, with, the, the, with, the, with the skip guy. I just killed 21 rats, and now I'll go kill them again, because I got call fights, so... It is what it is, two skips, at least I will get my range up to something. First two tasks were unlucky, but third time is the charm, and we get hellhounds, which is, by the way, an amazing task. I can get tier 5 emblems, which are amazing, I can get supply drops, I can get everything from that task. Really looking forward to it. We're gonna be here for so long, I think. Anyways, there it is! 80 strength and uh, yeah, I was, I was just talking about how long this task will actually be 138 left of these we're gonna be here for a while Another supply drop this time. We get some sharks and some curry. All right spec for level up. There it is very nice 82 strength here is one of the more useless supply drops. None of these come in handy whatsoever. I think super energy we have stamina's blue dragon skills Maybe used for some potions. Highly doubt it though. Oh, yeah, that's the next thing that we need to buy. I need to tell Shoddy. And I forgot that we just got 83 strength. 55 Slayer. I do think that is the level for Blood Vaults. Let's just check real quick. 55. No, 50 is Blood Vaults. Never mind. We still have 30 to kill. How crazy long this task is is really insane. But, anyways, the stats are starting to look really nice. And I hope uh, I can get on a nice task spree after this one. Here we go, the very first task completed, and it got us to 57 Slayer pretty much, 83 strength, almost 84, one hit away from 84. We get Ankus, that is really really good because it's very safe again, so really nice, honestly. Alright, the second task is completed, as you can see the stats on the screen are fairly decent, and we are looking for anything that we can do in the cave, but Black Dragons are fine because I can just TP to Falador to do them. Alright, decided to get 21 agility very quickly, simply because I need the shortcut from the GE, and I need it eventually anyways. So, after this, it should be it. There it is, very nice. Task number 4, hopefully we can get lucky, and Black Demons. My stats are not bad for Black Demons, however, no agility. I think I might still do this task and train attack on it. Um, yeah, this might be a spicy one. There we go, there is the 85 strength, and now we're just gonna focus on 78 attack. Oh, I see something shining on the floor. How many sea turtle is this? Should be a lot of them. Ah, it's only three of them. Uh, and we also got an anglerfish. Not bad, I guess, for the supply drop, pretty good. One of the more useful supply drops, we just got prayer potions and 10 of them, and we also got some snape grass. Which is not that useful, but the prayer potions definitely come in handy, I'll tell you that much. The stats, we are closing in on 78 attack. I do think that wants to be my final goal for today, to be then able to equip the Vesta or Statue's uh, weaponry. So only four more levels to go to reach that. There we go, just one more level to go before we end the video off. 78 will be the level that I need today. Another very nice supply drop, actually. Uh, we end up getting a couple of Samfus. Let's see how many. 
Seven Samfuse. Well, we're stacked for life. Dude, those are honestly so good. And uh, yeah, as you can see, very close to 78 attack. Let's finish it off strong. That's the first level, 65 Slayer. And we're also just a couple of hits away from finishing the actual goal. And that was 78 attack. So if we can hit a few more times, it will be done. So I'm very happy. We still have 25 of these left to kill. And this is once again a very slow task. So both this and Hellhounds is a very slow task. But if we get lucky and we get some tier 5 drops, then we can get a cannon out of that and cannon would be huge. So um, yeah, right now we are hunting for those tier 5 emblem drops. Two of those and we have a cannon. And then we already have a bunch of cannonballs that I've been buying from the Grand Exchange. So as soon as we have that, the range training will also commence. And I'm really excited for that. But anyways, with that being said, thank you very much for watching the video. We are currently 9 hours and 25 minutes into the tournament. And these are the stats on the screen. I'm very happy with the way we are. I've never done this well on the day 1, I don't think. So that's very exciting. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. It's going to motivate me to try and produce a video every single day and put in a lot of hours. And on top of that, if you guys want to check something else out aside from RuneScape, I do have a second channel and I upload a lot of different games on my second channel. Feel free to check that out as well. Now, once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.